Today at 4.30 on CBS 2 News. It burns off unwanted body hair, but some say laser hair removal left them scarred for life. Oh, I'm sorry. Carly. Uh, hey. Uh, hi. I'm, I'm just trying to get to my gate. Sorry about that. No, there's no harm done. Uh, thanks. Where are you headed, anyway? Uh, I'm on a case. Really? Well, it must be some important case, leaving your bride-to-be and all. Don't start, Carly. Excuse me. Snyder. Hey, Hal. Yeah, look, I told you there's something off about this Hamilton guy. I mean, he's gonna be testifying in the Stewart case. You wanna wait till he's on a stand before you find out he's got a skeleton in his closet? Look, if the guy is clean, I'll back off. Your attention Hold on a second. due to equipment shortage, flight 1563 to Toronto has been canceled. Please see the reservation agent to reschedule. Hell, I got problems on my own, okay? I'll call you back. Damn. Is that your flight that just got canceled? I'll get on another one. Um, no, Jack. Well, it seems like it's a pretty important trip. Take my plane. Your plane? Yeah, state of the art. It'll get you to Toronto faster than any clunky old commercial flight. What do you say? Take her for a spin. Hold on, wait, wait. This was my idea. I'm the one who can't let it rest. You already buried David once. I cannot ask you to go through that again. Lily, if you think I'm gonna just sit home and let you and Julia go out there and deal with this on your own. You're crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Every time the doorbell rings, every time I hear rustling in the bushes outside, I think it's David coming back and he's gonna grab me or help. Well, if it takes seeing David's dead body to prove to you that he can't come back and hurt us anymore, then I'll show it to you. But help me, you know what? It's not fair of me to ask you to do this. Lily, you didn't ask. Look, I will do whatever it takes to get David Stenbeck out of our lives for good. You're going to exhume David Stenbeck. Tonight. <laughs> you can't be serious. I just, I need to have some closure on David's death. We, we took care of that. You, you, we went out there. You, you faced your anger. You said your final goodbye to him. And then I hallucinated about him the very next day. Have you thought about this? The man has been in the ground for more than half a year. You don't want to see that. No, I don't. But I still have to do it. Even if it's disastrous for you, you are an addict. You're recovering. You're finally getting your life back. You can't stop your progress by putting yourself through something so macabre. It'll set you back months. But it could move me forward. You know, I have to get past this irrational fear that David is somehow still out there. This is the only way that we can put him to rest. We? Lily Snyder is coming with me. She doesn't believe David's dead. And until she has proof, she never will. As the world turns. Lily Snyder. Look, Emily says that the man who kidnapped her was obsessed with her baby. Just like David was obsessed with Lily's baby. Emily thinks that David was behind her kidnapping. And Miss Snyder believes her. She doesn't know what to believe. She just, she wants to find out for herself. And she wants you to help? No, I think that's too much to ask from any friend. She didn't ask me. She wanted to go by herself, and I just, I couldn't let her. Neither of you should do it. It's ridiculous. It's not necessary. And you know David is dead. Why can't Miss Snyder believe you? Because she wasn't there. She didn't see the bullet hit his body. She didn't see him fall. She didn't see the look in his eyes when he knew that he was gonna die. She didn't take his pulse. She didn't feel his life ebb away like I did. She didn't hear Holden say, let him die. How did you know that?
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the $6 million question. What's for dinner tonight? Come with me. How would you like to try a new chicken dinner? Mmm, that is good. New chicken helper. It's very creamy. Creamy Parmesan. Delicious. Good fresh homemade flavor. My kids would love this. 20 minutes, yum. Gotta love quick when you're a working woman. For a delicious chicken dinner that cooks in only 20 minutes, try new chicken helper in five fabulous flavors. This will be dinner tonight. Creamy taste of butter with half the fat and calories. It's sheer bliss. Brummel and Brown, the only spread blended with the goodness of yogurt. Whatever we eat, with Brummel and Brown. Boogie, boogie, Brummel and Brown. Boogie, boogie, Brummel and Brown. Must be Brummel and Brown. My sister's a pharmacist. She said in 20 years, I'd regret not taking a calcium supplement now. She said, don't take chances. Take Oscal. Compared to store brands, Oscal's proven effective in more clinical studies and recommended by more doctors and pharmacists. Don't take chances. Take Oscal. A lot of people think the best way to deal with allergies is to take a prescription, a common misconception. You see, Claritin only relieves these symptoms, but Tylenol Allergy Sinus relieves all these. Tylenol Allergy Sinus. Take comfort in our strength. Hey, full figure gals, hop to it. Do that shimmy shake thing you do. Because the biggest news in bras since the 40s is here. 18 Hours New Comfort Underband. Ingeniously designed to stay put so you stay comfy. Not a jiggle, ripple, or roll, no matter how you wiggle, jump, or jive. The Comfort Underband from 18 Hour. Hey, full figure gals, is that a Playtex under there? Role playing. What a crock. I want Andy. I love him. You love him? Mm -hmm. Really? Well, have you told him that? Not yet. No, and you won't. Because you can't, because you're still in love with me. No. Hey, stop trying to deny it. I loved you. I loved you with all my heart. There was a time when I would have done anything in the world for you. Well, what about what you did to me? You went over the deep end, David. You became cruel. You became mean. I wouldn't go there if I were you. You went against the law. You hurt people. I did it because of you. I trusted you. I loved you. And you betrayed me. Sorry, I can't stay. I have contact sheets for you to look something's at. Something's right? come up. Something, you want something to... I gotta take care of. Right now? Yeah, this really can't wait, okay? I'll see you later. I'll catch up with you later. Bye. Those were Holden's words. How did you know? What? No, no, you told me. The night that you finally opened up about everything that happened with David, you described his death in minute detail. Now, most people would have blocked that out, and I remember being very impressed with your almost perfect recall. It illustrated to me just how much impact his death had on you. I don't remember saying anything about what Holden Well, Julia, said. You, you were still abusing tranquilizers at the time. I can check my notes if you like. No. No, that, that's all right. Look, I was a mess then, and then David did that to me. That's why I have to do this. And if someone sees you two out there in the woods digging up this grave and calls the police, are you prepared for Holden Snyder to be arrested for murder? Because you're an accessory to that, Julia. Look, it was self-defense. Well, even if the police buy that story, you still haven't told Jack that David is dead. Now, when the full truth comes out, all those secrets that you've been keeping from him, you risk losing him for good. Jack's not going to find out, because nobody's going to see us. Now, Julia, as your therapist, now, I can assure you that nothing will be served by going back out there. Now, I insist that you reconsider this. The man is dead. Why can't you just let him rest in peace? Because he hasn't let me rest. Ever since we killed... No, before that. Ever since he showed up in the Snyder kitchen and put a gun to my head, he has haunted me. He's not given me a moment's peace. And I just... I think that it's time that I confront this demon. Stop trying to be your own therapist. That's my job, remember? Why are you fighting? 
fighting me on this. It's my choice, and if I think that it's gonna help... No, it won't help. It won't. All right, look, in AA, they tell addicts, don't make any major changes for a whole year because any little upset can send you flying off the wagon. Can you imagine what digging up a corpse can do? Listen, I feel strong enough to do this, and that's because of you. You have given me so much of my life back. I just want this last little piece. I gotta go. Lily's gonna pick me up. What, she can't wait till we're done discussing it? I will call to reschedule. Julia! Oh, dear, please. It's like having your very own luxury hotel suite 30,000 feet up in the sky. There's no one sitting in front of you, leaning their chair back into your lap. Yeah, I, I appreciate the offer, Carly, but uh, I better go commercial. Jack, you'll have to wait hours probably for another flight. Then I'll wait. Come on, Jack. I mean, what, what good is having all this dough if you can't spend it on the people you like? Like Oakdale's finest? Yeah, well, Oakdale's finest shouldn't be accepting expensive favors. No. No, isn't it your fiancé who wouldn't like it if you accepted a favor from me? Speaking of fiancés, where's yours? Brad is not my fiancé, and I am not your brother's keeper. Oh, you had a little fight now, did you? In order to be fighting with him, I would have to care, which I don't. It's really no skin off my nose if he wants to frolic around in San Francisco with some rich old bag. Oh. Brad's in San Francisco now, is he? Yes. He ran into one of his ancient conquests. What happened to Brad's new leaf? Let's just hope the sutures hold. We might lose your brother in an avalanche of flesh. <laughs> Excuse me. Hal? No, it's uh, Reed Hamilton. I got this number from the office. Uh, normally I wouldn't bother you, but it's, it's an emergency. Dr. Hamilton. What can I do for you? Well, it's Julia. We just had a rather intense discussion, and she left without finishing her session. That's an emergency? Well, I'm very concerned that she might do something rash. Like what? Well, I can't breach doctor-patient confidentiality, Jack. Come on, doctor, you called me. Tell me what this is about. Jack, just find her. Now, she shouldn't be alone right now. What are you so afraid of? It's the pills, isn't it? You're afraid she's gonna take them again. Sorry, I can't discuss that. Could you at least tell me where she might have gone? She said that Lily Snyder was picking her up. Now, I don't know if she's just bringing her home or whether they're going someplace else, but she shouldn't be alone right now under any circumstances. <sighs> All right, I'll take it from here. Okay, and uh, please have Julia call me when you find her, Jack. I need to know that she's all right. She'll be fine. What's your problem, Jack? I've got to go. Well, but what about the Jack? strong sudden urges going to the bathroom so often wedding accidents discover prescription detrol detrol is proven effective to treat overactive bladder detrol reduced bathroom visits by 2.2 times in 24 hours versus 1.1 times with a sugar pill stay a little longer love to 1.2 fewer wedding accidents occurred with detrol versus 0.8 fewer with a sugar pill similar decreases over 24 hours do not take Detrol if you have certain types of stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems. The most common side effect is dry mouth at 39.5% for Detrol versus 15.9% for sugar pill. Common but less frequent ones may include dry eyes, headache, constipation, and indigestion. Head back? Not right now. For more product information, call us or ask your doctor about prescription Detrol. Proven effective to treat overactive bladder. Brad, I asked my doctor about Detrol. 
Maya got branches. Maya got branches. Maya got fun. Maya got fun. Nothing spreads more smiles than French's classic yellow, hearty deli, mild Dijon, and our latest honey mustard. Smile, you got branches. Come on. Feel the clean. New Almay Foundation Skin Stays Clean. Its clean pore complex helps keep dirt and oil out. Covers weightlessly. Feels water fresh. My skin looks and feels clean all day. New Almay Foundation Skin Stays Clean. This You're the perfect pair. Everlasting love. Get together for delicious lobster and shrimp. Side by side for a short time. Priced at just $12.99. Escape to Red Lobster. They did it. Now there's an easy, great tasting way to stay regular. And with a low fat diet, it helps your cholesterol and may even reduce your risk of heart disease. It's Fiberall. Six fibers for regularity and good health, and it tastes great. Fiberall. Fiber for your life. Tonight on Dave, boxer Lennox Lewis in his first one-on-one -on -one interview since the controversial fight. Plus, the hot air heroes who took their balloon around the world tonight. Oh, hi. Can you help me out here? I've got a lot of stuff. Hi. I, can, I, I could really use your help with all this stuff here, if you don't, if you don't mind. May I be of service? Yours is the kind of service I don't need. Ah, well, you never know until you try. I'm surprised you're here. I'm surprised you're not halfway to Tahiti with that Clarice person. It's Claire Wentworth. Whatever. So did you two have fun last night? Lots of milk and Geritol cocktails all around? Oh, well, let's see. After we closed the dance floor at the top of the mark, she got a friend of hers to open Three Calm Park. She showed me how to swing. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me, Brad, that you need someone to show you how? Oh, I'm talking golf, Carly. Claire can tee up at home plate and hit the back seat bleachers. She has an incredible follow-through. That's just swell. You're having so much fun. I'm surprised you came back to Oakdale at all. The thing is, I had to. You see, I left something very valuable here. Something close to my heart. You did. My ring, the engagement ring I gave you, I need it back. No way. It's mine. It was bought and paid for with my money. I'm keeping it. Carly. What is this, it's some sort of sleazy gigolo trick? You con a woman into buying an expensive ring and then you dump her and try to hawk the rock? Well, if you can forget it. I'm not falling for that. Well, you're right. I didn't pay for the ring, but you didn't either. My grandfather bought that ring years ago for my grandmother. And since you turned me down, I want it back. Yes, Dr. Hamilton, take messages. I'll be out for the rest of the evening. Thank you. Reed, about that little role-playing game no, that I don't you have stuck time. me into when you pretended to be David, yeah, I can't my talk about that now. No, I need some answers. Well, make an appointment tomorrow. How did you know so much about David? You know way more than I've ever told you. You're not the first patient to talk to me about David Stenbeck. Who else? You know, I can't tell you that. Oh, of course, Julia, right? There's a confidentiality issue here. I've already said more than I should have. But you did. How dare you say I betrayed David? You weren't there. You're right, I wasn't. And you have no right to judge me. I wasn't judging you. It was an exercise. Now I have to go. I have a patient in crisis. Oh, what? Who? Julia? Did you, did you schedule another uh, a room at the Oak Motel for a special one-on-one? -on -one? I told you not to gossip about my patients. Hey, you can't manhandle me like that. And you can't dismiss me. And you know what? You were wrong about me and Andy. Totally wrong. I was hoping it would still be light out when we got there. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It took a while to cancel my appointment with Dr. Hamilton. Are you sure you're ready for this? Absolutely. I just want this to be over with. Well, we all do, Julia. I'm so sick of lying. It's been hard on you, I know. Jack can't find out about this, though. Don't worry about Jack. He won't find out. Boy, this is a long ride. to be a stuck. Come on already. It's her toy. I got her. I broke her toy. That's all right. Don't worry about it. We'll buy her another one. The light changed. Oh, finally.
once they become teenagers, boy, do their tastes change. And they're always hungry. Sure glad I found this. New Chef Boyardee overstuffed ravioli. Huge ravioli overflowing with beef. New overstuffed beef ravioli from Chef Boyardee. There are times when hugs can be dished out by the pound. The original, deliciously moist, all-butter pound cake. Sarah Lee. Add some delicious to your life. Kids believe bubbles are made of magic. They're absolutely convinced they have a friend they see, and you don't. And they're certain their dad is the strongest man in the world. What they don't realize is that Juicy Juice is 100% juice, with no added sugar and lots of vitamin C. All they know is they love the way it tastes. But that's okay, because what kids don't know, moms do. Juicy Juice from Libby's, 100% juice for 100% kids. When I have a migraine, I often wonder if the pain will ever go away. But now I can break through that pain with Imitrex Nasal Spray. One quick spray breaks through the pain of most kinds of migraines, the related nausea and sensitivity to light, without drowsy side effects. So I stay alert and active. Imitrex isn't for everyone. If you have certain types of heart or blood vessel disease or uncontrolled blood pressure, you shouldn't take Imitrex. Very rarely, certain people, even some without heart disease, have had serious heart-related problems. So talk to your doctor, especially if you have risk factors for heart disease like smoking, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol or if you're pregnant, nursing, or taking medications. Call 1-800-IMITREX for product information and a free trial of IMITREX nasal spray or tablets. It lets me stay alert and active. Ask your doctor about IMITREX, the most prescribed migraine medicine in the U.S. Will there be justice for John Bonet? 48 Hours Investigates Thursday. A militia group ambushes police. They were armed for war. Help catch these Colorado cop killers. Join Robert Stack and Virginia Madsen. Unsolved Mysteries, CBS Friday. Peasant, you will bravely face whatever life hands you. Warrior. Come out that I may send you to hell. Martyr. Why put yourself in danger all for a would-be king who cares nothing for you? Because I must. Legend. God and friends. Joan of Arc, a world premiere coming this May to CBS. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Don't no. panic. What if they search the car? They're gonna see the shovels. The shovels are not against the law. It's fine. Officer. Hey. Jack. Holden. I don't know it was you. Hey, Julia. Louie. Is there a problem, Jack? Uh, you know you had a brake light out? No, I, I had no idea. <laughs> um, Jack, I thought you were going out of town on a case. Uh, the flight got canceled. I was heading back when I noticed the light, you know. <laughs> can I, um, can I persuade the nice officer not to give my friends a ticket? Sounds like a bribe to me. Uh, <laughs> not gonna arrest me, huh? Depends. Where are you guys headed? Uh, these two beautiful ladies were taking me out to Yo's for a couple of burgers. <laughs> you, you're gonna join us, right? Wouldn't miss it. Hey, why don't you ride my car? Sure. See you. All right. Is everything okay? Yeah. You look kind of pale. Uh, it's the light from the moon. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. I missed you tonight. So you're telling me that that ring belonged to your grandmother? Yes, my grandfather bought it as an engagement ring over 50 years ago. But it's huge. And it's real. I, I had the thing appraised. How could your grandfather afford right. something no, like how, that? How could anybody in my family afford something so expensive? Well, when my grandfather first got out of school, he went to work for Amalgamated Steel. And at the time, money was tight. It was the Depression. And so they paid their employees with stock certificates. Your, your grandfather had stock in that company? Yeah, a few years later, he met my grandmother. It was love at first sight. So he hadn't saved much money, and he sold the stock and bought that ring. He's, he's, he sold the stock. He had that kind of stock, and he sold it. Do you have any idea how rich you could have been? Do you have any idea how rich you could be? What can I say? Snydermen have always put in love ahead of money. Hmm. Well, the gene must be recessive in your case.
hand it over. This was your grandmother's, huh? You didn't see the inscription? Lovely. And I couldn't have paid for it unless I had conned the money out of a lady friend. No, no, no. I, I didn't say that. Yeah, but you thought it. I mean, you think all I lust for is money. Are you denying that? You spend enough time around me. You think that's what I'm all about. I don't know, Brad. Sometimes... I, sometimes I don't know what to think about you. The ring, Carly. If you're not gonna wear it, I'm gonna give it to somebody who will. Who? Oh. No, no, no. Not this, this, this Claire person, Brad. And tell me you're not gonna marry her. Stranger, you stranger. Where'd you disappear to before? Nowhere. Nowhere important, anyway. So are those the new publicity still? It certainly talking looked about? important. I mean, you just rushed out like that. <sighs> it turns out I got myself all upset over nothing. So, is that your favorite one? Why were you upset? No reason. A Andy, this really isn't a big deal. Okay. It's not. All right, I'm just saying that if someone's bugging you, I, I just, I want to know about it. He's not bugging me. He's just he's an arrogant, overconfident, under-informed jerk. And I really, I, I shouldn't even care what the guy thinks. He? Who's he? Should I be jealous here? No. Oh. <laughs> you jealous of a Reed Hamilton? Hardly. I mean, the guy thinks that he is this just big-shot therapist, and actually, he doesn't have the slightest clue what he's even talking about. Reed Hamilton, what did he say? He said... He said, he actually just twisted around everything I said, like, like that he knew better what I think than I do. Wait a minute, wait, slow down a bit. What, why were you talking to Reed Hamilton in the first place? Um, I was interviewing him about Emily. Oh, and the guy that she killed, the guy that you, you thought was David. Yeah, seeing that guy, thinking it was David for just a minute, just, it, it, it brought back all those feelings of when I lost him. But I, I don't want those feelings again, Andy. I told you, David hurt me. And I'm really glad that he's out of my life. But I just thought that if I talked to Reed about David, that it would give me some closure or whatever. I mean, that's what shrinks do, right? That they, they, they help people get rid of their problems. And David was absolutely a problem, okay? There is no question about it. You don't have to convince me. And then Reed, he suggested that I do this, this role-playing thing with him, where, where he'd be David and, and I'd be, well, me. And, and I... I thought, well, why not? You know, I mean, he's this all-knowing doctor, so what would be the big deal? What, what, what hurt would it cause? So I, I did, and, and, and I told David... Who? Reed. I, I told Reed that, that there's no way that, that I could still be in love with David because I love you, and he went nuts on me, and he said that I betrayed David, and he, he kind of just lost it. He went off. He really did. Wait a minute, what... What did you just say? I said that Reed said that I betrayed David. No, before that. I said that I couldn't possibly still be in love with David because I... I love you. <laughs> I said I love you. Hey, anyone want to split a basket of onion rings? Uh, I'm not that hungry. I'll have a diet soda. You said you were coming here for dinner. <sighs> Women, Jack, they uh, take three bites of something and say they're cold. Um, I'm gonna go to the ladies' room and uh, powder my nose. Yeah, I'm gonna go call your mother. Check on the kids. Be right back. Hey, what are we gonna do now? With Jack here? We go to plan B. Which is? You stay here. With Jack, you keep him busy and... We'll go find David. You've already done enough beyond the call of duty. Come on, come on. Has Julie seemed okay to you? Yeah, fine. Why? No, she seems kind of skittish. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe she had a rough day at work or something. Well, I'm worried about her all day. Look, I'm uh, not really comfortable asking this. Asking what? Yeah, if, since you've been with Juliet tonight, she hasn't... She hasn't taken any medication, has she? Medication? Any pills, anything like that. I don't think so. Why? Is she sick? Uh, forget I asked. No big deal. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Jack here. Is there something going on with Julia yeah, that I don't know about? She's had a tough time with the whole David thing, that's all. Yeah, I knew something was bothering her, but you think that she's taking pills? Yeah, you know, just, just forget I said anything, all right? <sighs> this is because of what happened with David, right? Yeah, it's because of what happened with David, and she's had some trouble sleeping, so her doctor prescribed some tranquilizers. She had no idea they were so addicted. Julia's addicted? Great meal. Uh-oh, gas pressure. What now? What else? Gas X, with the most powerful medicine for fast relief. Nothing works faster. Hey, want to go for ice cream? Gas X, the power to fight gas fast. There's a place where phones go unanswered, and you can have tea with your high school sweetheart and Cornelius from Planet of the Apes. And you can visit every night with Serta. We make the world's best mattress. Do you experience vaginal dryness and need moisture? Vagisil Intimate Moisturizer is like bringing back your own natural moisture with natural aloe and soothing chamomile. Gentle enough to use every day, Vagisil Intimate Moisturizer. It's just embedded, whatever it is. And even though I've cleaned, it just doesn't really look clean. Lime Away, professional strength, lime, calcium, and rust cleaner. Wow, it's like a new sink. I mean, I didn't have to scrub at all. Lime Away, the easy way. Feeding your baby gives her all the nutrients she needs to grow strong. But when you give her an ordinary bottle, you could be increasing the risk of ear infections, too. Oh. Uh. Johnson's Health Flow bottles are uniquely angled to promote the semi-upright feeding position, reducing fluid in the inner ear and the risk of ear infections. Breastfeeding is best, but if you give your baby a bottle, give her one that helps prevent ear infections, too. Johnson's Health Flow. From Johnson & Johnson. Looking for a new way to spice up your boneless, skinless chicken? Now there's an exciting new shake and bake made specifically for boneless, skinless chicken. Its specially seasoned coating seals in the juices for mouth-watering flavor like you've never tasted before. New shake and bake for boneless, skinless chicken. It really shakes up chicken. Stay tuned for more of As the World Turns. CBS Tonight, TV Guide says Raymond Reigns. You want to spank a supermodel? I don't want to. Sometimes they're naughty. Find out why on a special episode. Then, welcome to Whispering Pines. Man, my hurts from driving. Where they treat you like royalty. Look, darling, the king and queen of Iowa. And all new pain following a special Raymond, CBS Tonight. <laughs> Howie's America's favorite April Fool. Hello, Howie. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris welcomes Howie into his home. Plus, from Lifetime's new attitudes, Kim Cole and the shirtless chef. Today at 3 on CBS 2. Hey, you're the guy in the spy movies. No, I'm not an actor. Fast cars, beautiful women. Ooh. And you are the master of disguises. The little mustache. The hunchback. <laughs> and what's with that evil bad guy and his albino pet monkey? <laughs> what is that thing? Love the helicopter pen. Looking extra cool. Gotta be the hair. Gotta be that expensive salon look from Fantastic Sam's. Hey, if you need a sidekick, I'm ready. Fantastic Sam's. Gotta be the hair. I had gotten to a point where it was just time to do something with myself. I had hit 202 pounds, and I had never been at that weight before. About three and a half months, I lost 56 pounds, and I feel wonderful. Lindora, Southern California's number one medical weight control program. Call Lindora today. I couldn't wear my wedding ring for many years, and I refused to let my husband size it. And when the day I could put this ring on was like getting married all over again. It was great. The real-life saga of Jenny Jones. Watch the next Inside Edition. The address is CBS. Welcome home. What's wrong with Claire? 
Well, she, she, she's twice your age. And she's not even twice yours, and she's fun. If you don't keep her up past her bedtime. Beautiful. Yeah, thanks to the work of a, a whole team of gifted plastic surgeons. And generous. Well, why shouldn't she be? Why shouldn't she be generous? She's got more cash than, than liver spots. Uh, you know, having an abundance of cash didn't make you any more What about your grandfather, huh? How would your grandfather feel if he knew you were giving his, his wife's ring to some old bat you don't even love? Claire is warm, kind, and sweet. What's not to love? Well, her, her triple chin, for starters, which, of course, you can't see because she's got it all taped up and taped behind her head. The ring, Carly. Congratulations, Brad. You finally bagged yourself the big prize. And who knows, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe your baggie will kick the bucket before you have to spend too much time attached to her. It means so much to have your blessings, Robin. Hey, Brad, there's just... There's one more thing. You're fired. You said you loved me. I did. Any particular reason you haven't mentioned that before now? It just snuck up on me, I guess, but it's true, Andy. I do love you. And not because you saved my life, which you did. And not because you're really hot under the sheets, which you are. But because you, you, you're not saying a word. Why, why, why haven't you said a word? Because you never let me get a word in edgewise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I, I totally freaked you out, haven't I? I mean, here we just started, and I go off like this. I, 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 go, I go way too far, way too soon, and, and you, 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 you've got that look in your eye like you want to go run screaming or move to Timbuktu or something. Molly! No, don't, don't, don't say it, because obviously, Andy, you don't feel the same way that I do. And, and I'm just now, oh, God, I'm just, I'm just screwed up everything great between us because why did I have to open my big fat mouth Andy consider this Cons consider just just everything I said to be unsaid okay it will just erase tape please I can't I had no idea that Julia was taking pills come on keep it down would you she's not taking them anymore right she quit and one of the reasons that she's been so crazed David came after her because she came between him and his sick revenge scheme on me. Julia. Hey. Hey. Hey, I uh, hope we didn't keep you guys too long. No problem, not at all. You know, I just got off the phone with your mother and we, uh, we have to go home. Problem with the kids? It's probably nothing, but we, we should go home. Okay. Uh, you guys uh, have fun, all right? We'll uh, see you soon. Mm -hmm. Have some burgers and uh, make sure she eats more than three bites. Okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see you hope later. everything's all right. Okay, okay. 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 Still want that burger? I want to know why you just told him that I'm an addict. I didn't. You think I'm on pills again? That's why you didn't take that trip. You were checking up on me. I've been telling you about Colonial Pen Life Insurance for almost 20 years. Now I'm pleased to tell you they have a new name, Conseco Direct Life. And I still don't think you can find a company that cares more about folks over 50, especially those who want to help take care of their own final expenses. They're determined to keep life insurance affordable and your acceptance guaranteed. Because of a two-year limited benefit period, you simply cannot be turned down. They offer simple whole life insurance protection priced in units at $6.95 a month. Many folks 50 and over don't think they can get life insurance without taking a medical exam or answering embarrassing health questions. But that's just not true. In fact, this company not only guarantees your acceptance, it guarantees your coverage can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. And it guarantees your benefit will never decrease simply because you grow older. That's the kind of lifelong commitment you can count on. Does any other company offer you more than this? First, there's guaranteed acceptance and affordable premiums that never increase. 
Add to that benefits that never reduce because of your age, plus coverage that cannot be canceled, and cash values you can borrow against. You'd be hard-pressed to find a company that offers you more. That's why I urge you to call this toll-free number now. They'll send you a free information package with no risk or obligation. And you'll receive a free gift just for calling. Call toll-free 1-800-808-2400 to receive free information and a free gift in the mail. Dial 1-800-808-2400. The call is free, and so is this handy guide to Social Security. Call now, 1-800-808-2400. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-808-2400. The limo was supposed to be here half an hour ago. Yeah, well, you better get somebody here quick or I'm gonna buy your pathetic company and you'll be the one waiting on the curb. You need a hand? I fired you, remember? Yeah, uh, you know, I can't pass up a damsel in distress. I'll get you a cab. All right. Yeah, I'm sure none of those people will mind when you swoop in and commandeer the next cab for me. Well, you spread enough grease around, you never know. I don't need you, Brad. So you can take your know-it-all smirk and your grandmother's diamond ring and fly off to San Francisco to propose to your bride-to-be. Whatever you say. Brad, darling! Claire. <laughs> so good to see you here. Well, you, you had to... You amazing. <laughs> you had to leave too early this morning. And I was worried. And you shouldn't travel on so little sleep. I decided I wanted to make sure that you got home safely, and what better way than to see it with my own two eyes? Well, as you can see, I am just fine. Oh, better than fine, darling. You are magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> when a woman tells you that she loves you, you can't... You can't just forget that. Oh, God. You're letting me down easy. You've got that, 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 that look on your face, oh, like you're letting me down easy. I know what that looks like because I've been let down easy. Well, actually, not easy. It's been pretty darn hard. Will you hard. clam up, please? Right, right, clamming up. I'm not freaked. I'm surprised. You could even say that I'm stunned. But I'm not planning any trips to West Africa anytime soon. No? No. After Nikki left, I might have done that. I, I almost did that. I, I wanted to pack my bags and, and, and just go to the South Pole, any place I didn't have to be reminded of her. I just told myself I don't want to get involved with anyone for a while. But you sneaked up on me. Does that mean, does that mean that you feel the same way? I, f I feel, I feel a lot. I feel scared and uh and i'm a guy so i don't like to face my feelings unless i'm made to no no i'm not forcing you to do anything nope nope you you don't have to face anything you don't want to face no sir we, we we can just keep on doing what we were doing what are you gonna do you're gonna take back what you said come on the pink elephant's out of the back seat and every time you look at me from now on there's gonna be a question in those big blue eyes of yours well, is there an answer to that question? Oh, God. Andy, where do we go from here? Nowhere. Your flight wasn't canceled. That was a lie. Julia, it was canceled. But you could have taken another one. Instead, you tracked me down. Pulling oh, holding over was no coincidence. Oh, come on. His, his brake light really was out. Oh, Julia, please, come on. Don't be mad. Please sit. How could you tell Holden that I am on pills? I didn't mean to. But you did. I heard him. Holden thinks that I am an addict. How can I ever face him and Lily again? You'll be again? able to face him and Lily again. I was just worried about you, that's all. You know what? Now they're going to be worried about me. God, Holden and Lily have enough on their plate as but is. You know what? I don't care what they have on their plate right now. Frankly, all I'm concerned about is what you have on your plate. You know what? I can deal with this. Don't you believe me? Of course I do. Well, then why the broken taillight scam? What was that? I guess it was just me being overprotective. Look, I know how hard it was. You know, you being so dependent on those things, I thought maybe you'd crave another one. Well, 
I do. But I'm strong enough to handle this. Don't you trust me? I did. I, I mean, I do. I do. But what? Why would you even think that I would take another pill? You're shrink called. Dr. Hamilton seems to think that you're one step from the edge tonight. Did Jack say how bad it is? No, he didn't say much at all. But it must have been pretty bad for Julia to become addicted. All this because of us? No, because of David Stenbeck. We have to help her, Holden. We are. That's why we're here, Lily. Where is he? Right here. Last chance to back out. No, come on, let's get started. Here, you hold the flashlight. No, I'm gonna help you. Lily, do it. you can't. No, I am very capable of using a shovel. You're here because of me. I'm not letting you do this alone. Ever feel out of it when you run out of something? Like when you need to put in laundry because you're out of clean socks? Well, run into Big Kmart and into our pantry for everything you need all in one place. Tied with bleach sanitizes and gets bacteria out. Outstanding. Throw in the downy ball to rinse comfy softness in. Incredible. So if you're out of time, tied, or downy, run into our pantry with low prices all the time at Big Kmart. My granddaughter follows my every move. But the other day when I set out to give her a lesson, it turned out I was the one with something to learn about my dentures. So I decided to try Fix It and Fresh. It forms a thin yet strong seal for a more secure fit and a fresh feeling. You know, you're never too old to learn something new. Fix It and Fresh and forget it. Chicken Wawa. Seasoned grilled chicken breast, pasta, and bird's eye vegetables all in one bag. So simple, it almost prepares itself. How sweet. You made dinner. Chicken Wawa. Bring a little wow to your table. 1-800-CONTACTS is the world's largest contact lens store. With 4 million contacts in stock and 50,000 shipped every day. You'll get delivery right away. Call 1-800-CONTACTS. We deliver. You save. All right, kid. Here we go. What do you got? What do you got? Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, come on. What would you do if someone you loved had a heart attack? Yeah. Did you know it's now been proven that the same bare aspirin you have in your bag for muscle aches may actually help stop you from dying if you take it during a heart attack? Downtown. Lucky shot. Can your pain reliever do that? Talk to your doctor now. Next time I'll go easier on you. Bare. Powerful pain relief and so much more. Careful, we have an audience. She is here? Right behind me. She thinks I'm going to propose to you. Already? You work fast. Shall we proceed? Yeah, phase two. It is so good to see you. Mm. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, can you help me? I could really use a porter here. I'm busy. Hey, Carly, you remember Claire Wentworth? Yes. Yes, of course. How could I forget? Well, bye. So your limo hasn't come? I'm taking a cab. Oh, there's no need for that. My driver's here. We can share. I don't do that. Well, you can have the car to yourself if you prefer. I have the most marvelous idea. Let's get back on a plane and head for Hawaii. Hawaii. Or anywhere else in the world. We could go to Fiji, Bora Bora, Phuket. I hear Phuket is marvelous this time of year. We could do an around-the-world trip. 
I will have you flying so high, your feet will never touch the ground. Could I talk to you for a second? <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing? Oh, uh, great, great, great. Um, you're one terrific lady, and I'm always going to care about you, but I don't think things are going to work out with us. Not in the long run. I can take you things now. Buzz off. Brad Snyder? Worrying about the long run? Does this have anything to do with that blonde over there? Mm, it's just me. I've changed. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, honey. You have never disappointed me. Now, if it doesn't work out for you, you make sure you call me, you hear? You got it. Goodbye, darling. And good luck. <laughs> Thanks. What a lady. So you didn't pop the question? No. Grandma's ring is still waiting for Miss Wright. saying that but you're not saying that you do love me it's too soon after Nikki and after everything else to draw a road map of where this relationship is going I, I don't have I don't have a clue but we do have a relationship Molly being with you is like being given a spectacular gift every single day when I wake up and I see your head on the pillow next to mine you come home and you, you tell me some story that, about what happened to you at work and I, I laugh my head off? <laughs> Mom, I pass liquor stores, okay? And I don't even have any temptation to go inside. Because I'm coming home to you. And I have to ask myself, well, how did I get so lucky? What did I do? And I ask myself that every day. You do? And I want to keep feeling that way. I, I want to let things happen. I, I want to let us happen. I don't want to build any expectations into what we are or, or, or what we're supposed to be. Because you surprise me. I want to be surprised. I mean, I, that keeps me from taking things for granted. It keeps me grateful for the good things that have happened to us. It has been pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah, and it just could get better, you know? We're on this ride right now. Let's just see where it takes us. Okay? Okay. That smile right there, is that for me? Another gift for me. <laughs> Hamilton told you? Yeah, he called me at the airport. How could he say that I was going to take another pill? I, I told him that I was feeling strong. I, he had no right to do oh, that. I'm just glad that he was wrong. And I, I'm sorry that I made you think that I was doubting you, Julia. You know how much I love you, don't you? Yeah. And I am proud of you for kicking this addiction, and I know how strong you are. That's why... I don't think you should see Dr. Hamilton anymore. They're here. Take a rest. No, I'm not stopping. No, let me see. finish it. I will keep digging, all right? You just pull this flashlight here. You need to take a break.
Hey, fellas. Bored with those canned potato crisps? Get ready to rock. Introducing new baked ruffles. Huge potato taste. More crunch. And baked ruffles have a lot less fat than Pringles original. The taste is gonna rock your world. You ready to rock? New baked ruffles. Ridges that rock. My allergies make me a choo! Presenting Children's Tylenol Allergy D. Specially formulated to provide complete relief of your child's allergy symptoms. Children's Tylenol Allergy D. Everything you need. Two powerful showdowns on The Young and the Restless. And Soap Opera Digest has the story. Plus, who's coming, who's going, and the star's obsessions. The names you know, the news you trust. There's only one Soap Opera Digest. Buy Digest today. Come on. Feel the clean. New Alme Foundation Skin Stays Clean. Its clean pore complex helps keep dirt and oil out. Covers weightlessly. Feels water fresh. My skin looks and feels clean all day. New Alme Foundation Skin Stays Clean. Smile, you got Frenches. Smile, you got Frenches. Smile, you got fun. Smile, you got fun. Nothing spreads more smiles than French's classic yellow, hearty deli, mild Dijon, and our latest honey mustard. Smile, you got Frenches. Your baby's life is full of milestones. But I've learned starting table food too soon shouldn't be one of them. Research shows that easy-to-eat adult foods may not provide all the nutrition they need. Many are not as good as these baby foods in providing valuable minerals like iron. So necessary right now for developing healthy blood. Don't let a milestone become a mistake by starting adult foods too early. Besides, don't they grow up too fast anyway? <laughs> Tonight, it's love, sex, and the miracle of birth. What attracts us to each other? You like brunettes and I like blondes. Why do we fall in love? Images never before captured on tape and controversial new revelations on human sexuality. Your body like you've never seen it before. Body Human 2000, CBS Tonight. CBS Thursday. A sudden crash, but what would stop a mother? She's in the hospital. From helping her child. I can't go out there. All new Promised Land. You rely on the CBS Evening News to get the whole story. We rely on experience. The CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Experience you can trust. Today at 4.30 on CBS 2 News, he's a computer whiz, running his own business, becoming a millionaire. And he's only 17. Meet the Teen Tycoon. Special assignment, today at 4.30 on CBS 2 News. My son's babysitter had a terrible, terrible toothache, so I took her to Western Dental. She was scared to death. Everybody put her at ease right away. Dr. Diaz was her dentist. She explained everything thoroughly. Oh, she was wonderful. Everybody was from the minute we walked in the office. They explained an easy payment plan. Their fees were a lot less than most dentists. She's had no problems with her dental work since. I would recommend Western Dental to my friends and my family. It's been excellent. For more information, call... Make sure I never saw the inside.